Hi, this is Suze Eleven Tarot. Okay, so this is the all signs reading, but the first two uh, took almost the whole video. So <clears throat> um, now I am on Gemini, and I took a little break and had some of my banana bread, and uh, ready to get started here. Um, so I feel like the first two readings actually could. Um, benefit uh everyone so um you may want to uh watch through those uh it was aries and taurus okay gemini let's get started Okay, got strength over here. Mmm, okay. All right, so uh, first off, I want to say with that strength card, the message here is you are being supported. And so if you feel like you need more support, uh, please ask within. And if you don't believe in spirit, Ask your inner being, okay? Like your heart. Sit with your heart and ask your heart, okay? All right. So, um, ask and you shall receive, okay? Okay, so uh, in the past, some foundations had to crumble, okay? in order to bring in the new. That was part of the process. So be easy on yourself. Okay, we, we are all moving with the best to our ability um, as we're moving along, right? Okay, so the example they gave me was, okay, so uh, when we were growing up, we were allowed to eat those sugary cereals. Uh, it was part of the fun, right? Fruit Loops and Count Chocula and um, what else are they showing me? Okay, Captain Crunch. Okay, and um, Fruity Pebbles Cocoa Puffs. Okay, so <laughs> Pop-Tarts. Okay, all right. So with that said, you know, um, now people are so super, uh, you know, uh, clean about their eating and that would have been like blasphemy, right? Okay, so um, We're doing the best we can as we move along and uh, With that compassion that we move through for ourselves and each other um, is like uplifting energy Okay, very nice mm, Okay, so I feel uh, Gemini you're ready to take that rod somewhere with that magic okay and uh okay so for some of you that will translate into being with a fire sign a leo um sagittarius energy is very um attractive to you because um there is that sense of adventure and wanting to travel out and so i feel in the future here uh, there is that potential with a Sagittarius also. Okay. Okay, so now we're building on our foundations. Okay, and okay, so they want me to say, okay, what is this? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so um, keep on doing what you're doing by looking in different points of perception. Okay. And um, also remembering to take that quiet time with self to tune in to the subtle energy. Okay. Let's see what <clears throat> other energies we might be working with.
Oh, okay. So some of you uh, will continue with the past person. Okay, so that was that the reason why nothing was coming out here. Okay, so okay, so I said that. Okay, so all right, so <laughs> Sagittarius, okay. Mercury, yeah, because that that connection, that communication and collaboration energy. Okay, and then we have Gemini reverse, right? Okay, so let's see what that's about. Okay, for some of you that's still trying to figure out whether you really want to keep going with your past person, you're going to use this uh, Scorpio moon energy to kind of dive deeper. Okay, see how this pearl, okay, so you've had a lot of past uh, pain and irritation and, and lots of fire exchanged. Uh, and had you in your emotional waters. Okay, so with that said, some of you may be going towards this Sagittarius, like I suggested, and uh, and it will be a great, beautiful union because you have that sense of adventure and uh, passion for the new and... Um, And if you two collaborated together, that would be even the most uh, uh, satisfying connection. Okay. Okay, but then they want me to suggest the satisfaction begins with you first, and then you can see it in the physical reality. Okay. Okay, so this Gemini energy is like that twin flame energy that burned up for some of you okay okay so then that means that you can still continue forward with the past lessons or you can move with the new person for some of you that's like you set new boundaries within your partnership so for some of you that was like not sleeping in the same room um, you know, things like that, new boundaries with each other within the relationship, setting new, uh, things. Okay. So, all right. Okay. So it's like you each had a supportive role in each other, but did not want to, um, separate fully. So there's still that connection there. Okay. But this is the new here. Okay, so it doesn't have to be a Sagittarius. It could be a fire sign. I'm picking up something else, too. All right, so let's see tarot. Okay, so here we have the six of wands on the side here, right? And the four of coins is you still holding on a little bit to the past thing. Okay, so, all right, let me say this. When you love somebody, you never really stop loving them. It's just there, right? We understand that. Okay, but, okay, if you do want to move towards the new, what you have to do is... Um, spend more air time in your mind and heart filling up space with the new, okay? If you spend more air time and heart time on the past, okay, uh, that's not going to make space for this new person to come in, whatever sign they are, okay? And uh, the victory will be delayed because you're still not surrendering to a degree, Okay, so I would suggest forgive and love, continue to love, but spend more airtime in your mind and heart uh, with uh, the new and what the new looks like. And the, the thing is, if you do that, it may still uh, be with this past person. It may not be with a new person. So uh, I would surrender it to a degree, okay? And then here would be your victory. And I'll leave you with that, Gemini. All right. 
it. Mm -hmm. Cancer. Okay, cancer, cancer. Uh-oh. <laughs> My dog. Okay, so we had, actually, this is Earth and Mars reverse. Okay, so Earth reverse and Mars reverse. Okay. All right, so let's see what's going on here. <laughs> Twinkie. Okay, the devil energy. Okay. We've got Ace of Coins, Nine of Coins. Okay, let me let her out. Okay. <clears throat> Are we doing on the time? Okay. see here okay so we had ace of coins and nine of coins so i feel like um right now um you're working on your stability okay and working on your joy and your happiness and moving in your bliss and i feel like that's a great thing to do you have your new beginning here okay and i feel like you're building on whatever your creation is okay and um Okay, so they're showing me Jack and the Beanstalk. Okay, so it's like you're you're climbing, you're going higher. Okay, all right, now let's talk about this devil energy and the Mars and the Earth reversed. Okay. In the past, you got into some fiery energy, and instead of using it towards your creation, you went towards, uh, you did that... Uh, through your work environment, there was fighting and also in love relationships. Or things that had to do with arguing about uh, monetary things, the physical things. Okay. All right. So, and that was your physical reality. For some of you, this is disappointment with an earth sign. Okay. Okay. And uh, choosing not to let go, the devil and four of coins. But this isn't just the earth sign. This is the Pisces. In that earth energy. Okay. Or the Taurus. In the Scorpio energy. Because Mars is in Scorpio right now. Okay. So things of a sexual nature. Okay. There was entanglement with that. We already knew that from other readings. Okay. But it's. It's here. Okay, so um, so there may be a little bit of that fear there because of the past. And Mars is in Scorpio right now, so some of that influence might be in your sign, Cancer. Okay, so feeling very fiery and passionate. And uh, the phrase that I picked up was freaky dinky and horny toad. Okay, something like that. Okay, so um, whatever it is, you've got a grip on it. Okay, and uh, let's see, four coins. Okay, so, and then King of Cups came reverse. So it's like, um, not, this is, uh, the vulture is hugging. If this is you, the vulture is hugging you. And you're hugging coins and stuff. So it's like, you're holding on to your business and all that kind of stuff and uh 
kind of turning away from love here. King of Cups reversed. Okay. But uh, I feel like whatever it is, it's hidden because you got the devil here and the four of coins. Okay. So, um, which is common for cancers to uh, not divulge, right? Okay. So here's six of wands. Here's your victory. Okay. So, um, so I feel like your victory is moving towards your uh, prosperity in your finance and uh, work. Staying focused on being single and following your bliss. Dating, perhaps. Okay, because I feel like there's a lot of opportunity here for dating and continue dating. Okay, and then I feel like that will move you into your victory. Okay, Six of Wands. Okay, so what I want to say with this devil energy is watch out for uh, control issues, okay, in the future, okay? Um, there has to be like a steady kind of um, a delicate balance, right? Equal give and take um, and not just everything on your terms. Okay, that's what I see. Okay, and I leave you with that, Cancer. Okay, so Leo. Checking in to see what prospects for the future here. We're talking about uh, November, December, and January. Sun, okay. Sun is transiting uh, Scorpio. So I would pull in all the positive aspects of Scorpio. And what I would watch out for is just entanglements of a sexual nature. Uh, I would move because I feel like you want a partnership. And... Uh, I feel like a lot of you are t moving towards monogamy. So if that's the case, okay, I would move in love, okay, and towards anything that um, is fiery and passionate. Uh, make sure that uh, that love factor is there because I feel like that is the saving grace for you, Leo. Okay? All right. Anything else? see here Ooh, okay wheel of fortune luck is on your side okay wonderful okay Okay, so we got the Wheel of Fortune and the Hermit. Okay, so. Uh, okay, so I'm getting like cave, uh, cave. Okay, so maybe you're tuning in to pull in this new cycle. Okay, so uh, that could be an earth sign, but that could be your energy too if you're cusping. Okay, Leo? Okay, so I feel like you're tapping into your wisdom. Okay, and then here's chariot. Now, I was going to say that next. You need movement, and then here comes the chariot. Okay, so okay, so I would look at small offers because sometimes the small offers come up to be the big things, okay? And that's what I see here. Okay, so I feel like you're open, loving, emotional, and uh, willing to be vulnerable, uh, and, uh, maybe starting off a as a friend is a good place to begin, right? Because we can build those long lasting friendships and then that could turn into something even deeper and greater is what I'm picking up here. Okay. So I'm picking up more earth signs. So it could be earth sign. 
Okay, so there's that potential for the water sign too. Okay, but I feel like that's you. So make sure like that Scorpio energy that you're pulling in the positive aspects of that uh, and move with love, right? Okay. Yeah, three of cups reversed. So I feel like you're moving towards that uh, monogamy, like I said. And four of cups, yeah. Letting go of like, you know, uh, like... Multiple unions, that's what I'm picking up here. And that brings in the sun. Oh my gosh, double sun, Leo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh God, I felt that energy it was so intense. It almost made me cry. You deserve it, Leo. You deserve it. 